Prince Harry and Prince William chat as they leave Grandfather Prince Philip's funeral together. The brothers did not walk together in the funeral procession but were seen chatting as they exited the chapel. Prince Harry and Prince William left their grandfather Prince Philip's funeral together. The brothers were seen chatting alongside William's wife Kate Middleton as they exited Street George's Chapel in Windsor Castle following the funeral service on Saturday. William, 38, and Harry, 36, continued speaking as they walked away from the church, as Kate stepped away to talk with Sophie, Countess of Wessex. ITV journalist Tom Bradby, who is friends with the brothers, said, it is often said that funerals are moments of reconciliation and that is a sight that, to be honest, that many people really wanted to see, not least those in the family themselves. Harry and William joined other members of the royal family, including their father, Prince Charles, in walking behind the Duke of Edinburgh's coffin during the procession to Street George's Chapel. Instead of being positioned next to each other, their cousin, Peter Phillips, the son of Princess Anne, walked between them. For the procession into the ceremony, William walked with Peter while Harry was behind his brother next to David Armstrong Jones, the son of Princess Margaret and Anton D. Armstrong Jones. The procession order was a practical change rather than sending a signal, a Buckingham Palace spokesman said ahead of the service. This is a funeral and we are not going to be drawn into perceptions of drama. The arrangements have been agreed and represent Her Majesty's wishes. This was the first time Prince William and Prince Harry have been together in more than a year since Harry relocated to California with wife Meghan Markle and their son, Archie. Harry returned to the UK last weekend to quarantine at Frogmore Cottage and attend his grandfather's funeral. Meghan, who is expecting their second child, a baby girl, did not accompany her husband. She has been advised by her physician not to travel, a royal spokesman said. The Duchess of Sussex watched the funeral from her home in Montecito. In the wake of Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey last month, there are ongoing tensions within the family. During the tell-all interview on CBS, Meghan refuted reports that she made Kate Middleton cry in the lead-up to her 2018 wedding, saying the reverse happened. A source told People that both women were in tears over the incident. They also accused the royal family of racism including concerns over their children's skin color, and not getting Meghan help when she felt suicidal. William hit back at the racism claims, telling a reporter during an outing, We are very much not a racist family. When asked if he had spoken to Harry after the Oprah interview, he added, No, I haven't spoken to him yet, but I will do.